Hey, Vinyl Community, you ready to shit on some album covers with me? Let's get to it. Okay, this is going to be a very special episode because never before have I devoted an entire episode of Let's Shit on These Album Covers to one artist. But today, I have stumbled on possibly the most extensive discography of horrible covers of any artist I have ever featured on any of these uh, installments before. And that artist is country singer Mo Bandy. Now, I know one of the first questions you're going to have for me is, was Mo Bandy a pedophile because he looks like one? Can we not go there? I have no idea if he was a pedophile or not. Let's keep this about the album covers, not how the man looks. So in the 1970s, if you were a country singer, one of the quickest ways to get on the radio was to sing about one of two things, either number one, infidelity, number two, alcoholism. And Mo Bandy took that concept to its extreme. He's got more album covers that show him getting absolutely hammered in a bar. It makes Hank Williams Jr. look like Billy Graham. So the first album cover that I want to show from Mo Bandy is called I Started Hating Cheating Songs Today. And I love this cover because Mo, poor Mo, he's just sitting all by his lonesome, nursing a drink. And I imagine the waitress or the barmaid coming up, seeing Mo sitting all forlorn there by his lonesome, saying, Mo, what's the matter? You look a little down in the dumps today. I started hating cheating songs today. Oh, Mo, I hope that doesn't mean what I think it means. Has your woman been cheating on you, Mo? Yep. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, the man looks like John Wayne Gacy if we were an alcoholic pedophile. I could totally understand why his wife would cheat on him. Again, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're not talking about the man or his physical appearance. We're here to talk about the merits of his album covers. The next album cover I want to show is Bandy the Circus Clown. Now, if I didn't know the title of this album, I don't know that I really would have thought anything was amiss, honestly, because I just imagine that's how Mo Bandy went around dressed anyway. You know, a red nose, kind of disheveled clothing. One of the most distinctive things of this album cover is that Mo doesn't have an alcoholic beverage in his hand. So that alone makes this cover an anomaly. Okay, the next album, Here I Am, Drunk Again. <laughs> See? <laughs> now, I'm not sure that's something that you want to be proud of, uh, but Mo clearly is very comfortable with the fact that he likes to consume a large amount of alcohol. I mean, I just love the idea that somebody would construct a gigantic beer mug for Mo Bandy to climb into. And I'm pretty sure he took that home with him and probably uh, like he wheeled that in. Probably they constructed some kind of dolly and he would wheel that in to whatever establishment he did his drinking in. Okay, next album cover, Motel Matches. Now, it's already not a good sign when the hot woman who's in bed with you on your album cover doesn't want to be seen with you, is embarrassed to be in a picture with you. Uh, maybe you want to rethink uh, the entire design of that cover. Okay, the next album is Cowboys Ain't Supposed to Cry. Cowboys Ain't Supposed to Cry. What, you mean when they get so wasted they fall off their bar stool? have to have a cast put on their leg. And you know, for any other artist, I would say, yeah, they're probably just being funny. They're probably just, you know, trying to convey an image or just trying to, you know, put on this facade, like there's some country hard drinking outlaw. But I think Mo Bandy was the real deal. You don't have this many album covers that involve alcohol and the mishaps that ensue without there being an element of truth. Last album I'm gonna show. It was always so easy to find an unhappy woman. Yes, that's the title of the album. It was always so easy to find an unhappy woman, dot, 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 to prey upon. I, I can't even begin to describe how 
incredibly disturbing this album cover is. And not just because Mo Bandy looks like an alcoholic pedophile. I'm, And I know I said I wasn't going to go there, okay? But he does. Whatever Mo Bandy is doing, creepily staring over the shoulder of this poor woman, nothing good is going to come of it. Tell me one good thing Mo Bandy has on his mind when you look at this album cover. It's all terrible. Like, I hope that woman has a can of mace in her purse. I really do. Because I see nothing but bad things happening. So anyway, that's Mo Bandy. Went a little long on this episode. But let me know. Do you have any of these albums? Have you heard of Mo Bandy before? Uh, and what do you think? Uh, let me know if you have any other terrible album covers you want me to uh, take a look at for future episodes. Hope you're doing well. Take care.